hello everyone my name is Cameron and welcome back to the channel and today we are starting a brand new series now I told you guys recently on the update video that I was gonna be starting a brand new series on the channel for Tuesdays to make up for the fact that currently Dalton and I have um uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, no ability to really record um Ark got us him all because currently he is um not really able to record very much, which really sucks. Uh I'm gonna leave that off because it kind of fucked me up last time. So uh Yeah, and that series for Tuesdays is Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. I bought it Uh we'll go normal. I like having a little bit of a difficulty curve to it. Roaming the Badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel, raiding fuel de depots. Life on the road wasn't easy, but growing up in a nomad clan has its perks. Honesty, integrity, and a lot of love of freedom. Qualities that few in Night City possess and no amount of money can buy. Street Kid, they say if you want to understand the gangs, fixers, dolls, small time pushers, you were raised by them all. Down here, the law of the jungle dictates the weak. Serve the strong, the only law in Night City you have yet to break. Corpo, if you leave the corporate world with their lives, fewer still with their souls intact. You've been there, you've bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game, only winners and losers. Um, but yes, uh, for those of you wondering, um, I did decide to get this. It was on sale at GameStop. I finally decided to pick it up. Um, I'm very excited to play it. It looks really interesting. I think we're going to go with... Oh, they all sound interesting. I'm going to go with Corpo. I think Corpo would be kind of a cool one to do. Actually, you know what? No. We're going to go with Street Kid instead, I think. I don't know. They're all really good options, man. I might play through this a few times, but not only once on the channel, but a few times so I can just kind of get an idea of the story differences. Um, and obviously, because it's on YouTube, I do have a nudity sensor on, so I don't have to, you know, be scared of getting hit for that. Yeah, we'll go with Corpo. And uh, I also have a uh, thing set so the copyrighted music gets um, v. I'm v. V. Well, That's cool. I'm v. That's actually really cool. They even have it set up to where if you have a feminine voice it gives you uh, she slash her pronouns. That's really cool. Well, he's corpo, so he's got to be somewhat clean, right? The hairstyle. Oop, oop, oop. Rotate his R2. Okay, hairstyle. That looks too much like, like the one Keanu Reeves has, as far as I know. So, I don't like that hairstyle very much. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, that's not too bad. That that's like my traditional hairstyle. I do this hairstyle in a lot of games. For those of you who've watched enough of my channel, you kind of know that sort of style of hairstyle. Uh, same with that one, actually. I do that hairstyle a lot too, and that style of hair, uh, rocker style hair. Ooh, I kind of like that. It looks. I'm trying to figure out what should I go with, because like, he, Corpo, I feel like I should go with something kind of more, Jesus, more uh. So what I'm looking for more like a uh, clean cut, you know something that looks more professional But like I also just want to go completely not professional because it's me and I don't like the professional style haircuts Like I've always hated professional style haircuts um, Man, there's a lot of hair options This will be the first episode by the way for you guys wondering it's gonna be me completely designing my character um, Okay, so we got that. Oh, that's not too bad looking Mohawk and that's a traditional style. I go with a lot too. Um, eh. There's a lot of styles of hair. Those of you who've never watched me play a game where I get to create my own character, you're in for a treat because I spend a lot of time creating characters. <clears throat> I kind of, I really like this style. I think we're going to go with this style here. I like it. I like the way it looks. So can we actually choose? Oh, we can go in here. Okay. Um, what does the blue look like? Uh, what's the red? Ooh. Ooh, I like that. What's this one look like? Um, I think we're gonna go with that one. I think I like the way that one looks the most. All right, let's look at his eyes. I 
Oh, okay, now I see what's changing. I was like, I'm not seeing anything change here. Uh, we'll just go with like... We'll just go with those ones. I like those ones. I like the way those ones look. They don't look that bad. Um, wait, what? Oh, that's cool. You can even... Because it's, you know, the whole game is about like cybernetics and shit. You can have like, your eyes look really fucking cool. That's... That's really cool. I think we're just gonna go with... Wait, wait, hold up. Oh, yes. Definitely those. Uh, eyebrows. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's go three. And let's match this. Let's go black on that. So his natural hair color is gonna be black. Um, nose. I don't always like customize my guy's nose or anything. So like to actually customize this shit is really weird for me because I don't normally do it. Uh, let's go with that one. I like the way that one looks. Jaw. Uh, I want him to kind of have like a burly jaw. Let's go with that one. Ears. God, they really give you a lot of options in this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like those ones. Okay. Beard. Um. Do I want to give him... Oop. Fuck. Do I want to give him a beard? Wait, hold up. How do I zoom out? How do I zoom out? Damn it, game. How do I zoom out? Damn it. This is annoying. Gives you options. Wow, it gives you a lot of options. Uh, we'll go with that. And we'll keep it black, because technically that's his real... It's supposed to be his real hair color. Well, uh, let's start from the beginning with the cyberware. Okay, seriously though, how the fuck did I zoom out? Wait, whoa, 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 no. There we go, I don't know what I did there. Damn it, game, I want to zoom back out. I don't know why it's so zoomed in all of a sudden. Alright, so one. I'm getting so diff. It's so difficult because normally I'm used to using the right thumbstick to like zoom in and out and stuff. Or to rotate, I mean. Uh, eight. Nine. Ten. I'm assuming nine is covered by my beard or something. Eleven. Twelve. Oh, that's just back to the start. Uh, there was one I really liked. Was it that one? Okay, so there's eight in total. Five, four, three, three, two. I like one. I like the way one looked. Facial scars. We're not going to do any facial scars or facial tattoos. Um, I do occasionally put piercings on my characters. I just... Obviously, I want to get like an idea of what they look like beforehand. So you got studded eyes and one in his ear. Stud in his ear. Oh damn! You they give you options, man. I wish they gave you like an option to customize where they're at, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like an actual like, okay, choose where you want your piercing, sort of thing, rather than you know just a few preset ones for piercings. I, I don't really like not getting the freedom to choose where my piercings are and just kind of getting you get like an option a set of options and that's it I, I've never enjoyed that very much I've, I've always enjoyed the idea of oh you get as much freedom for your character as you can so you can decide where everything goes uh, we're going to do them there and we're going to do um, so just mirrored like I don't even see him changing color I'll just do gold gold's fine by me teeth Uh, yeah, we'll just go zero. Eye makeup, no. I don't really like doing... I don't really do eye makeup with my characters most of the time. Same with, like, most makeup, even on female characters, I don't tend to really do anything with them. And uh, we won't do any blemishes either. Nails. Um, yeah, let's go short. Nail color's fine. 
Uh, you can turn nipple. Oh my god, you can turn nipples off. That's fucking hilarious. Um, yeah, obviously, I'm pretty sure if I did uh, have the nudity sensor off, you'd be able to actually um, see him, if, if you know what I mean. And now I can't zoom back in. This is so annoying. Like, you can barely see where those scars are at. I'm not even going to do it, so... All right, there we go. There is what V looks like for the total, for his actual style. So we're gonna go to the next. He kind of looks like a pirate. I didn't really plan that. It just kind of happened. Okay. So body determines your raw physical power. In addition to allowing you to force open doors, each level of body, starting from level three, will add five health points, add three stamina, increase damage with fists and gorilla arms by three, increase damage with melee weapons by 1.5%, decrease movement ability penalty by 6% while grabbing an enemy or wielding an HMG or defender. Increased movement while grappling on enemy and enemy grapple duration by 5 seconds. Intelligence determines your new net running proficiency. Every level of intelligence will increase cybernet cyberdeck ram capacity by 4%, increase quick hack damage by 0.5%, and increase quick hack duration by 1%. Reflexes determine your maneuverability. In addition to increasing your overall movement speed, each level in reflexes will increase your positive or your passive evasion from enemy attacks by 1%, increase crit chance by 1%, increase damage from mantis blades by 3 Technical ability represents your technical know-how. It allows you to unlock doors and use tech weapons. Each increase in level will increase your armor by 5%. And cool determines your resilience, composure, and effectiveness in operating from stealth. Each level of cool will increase crit damage by 2%, increase all resistances by 1%, increase stealth damage by 10%, reduce the speed at which enemies detect you in stealth by 0.5%, and increase monowire dam mono damage by 3%. All right, we're gonna go with two levels of cool, a level, two levels in body, one level in technical ability and then one level in intelligence and reflexes i'm gonna go with a generic kind of like you know like base sort of setup i want body to be one of the highest ones just because it, i feel like it's the best option giving myself more health off the bat um actually i think we're gonna take cooldown and put reflexes uh, and we'll put intelligence up one more there we go that's that's a little bit better All right, works for me. Cyberpunk 2077. I'm very excited. I've I've been meaning to get into this game. It was something I wanted to grab when it first came out, but then. I the people trying to rush the developers and shit like that and then everything kind of just not going to plan and then it just it got taken off the playstation store so you know i couldn't get it that way obviously so i was like well let's just wait and i'll see if it comes on sale or something i almost got the collector's edition i saw a few options for the collector's edition for kind of cheap gamestop didn't want to turn their turn it down at all they wanted to keep it at 250 which was kind of in my opinion bullshit with the, the way the games had reactions recently I don't think it should have been capped at 250. Um, maybe drop down to like 200 or something. V, you there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. You all right? Oh, fine. Just uh, needed a breather. Guts airlock. Yeah, I barfed. It's just stress. It's a chumba de wama, daughter. Not dead yet. Don't worry, not dead yet. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>
First time in Night City? Pay close attention to the tutorials to learn more about the basic mechanics of the game. Or, if you're already an experienced edge runner, feel free to disable hints. Go to the database at any time during the game to access tutorials, as well as to read up on the most important topics of Cyberpunk 2077. So, for those of you wondering, yes, I do have hints and tutorials on, just because I'm new to the game, I've never played it, and I've never actually played a CD Projekt Red game in the first place, so I want to make sure I get kind of used to the controls. Now, as far as I know... I believe I should have seen this in video or something, but there is, as far as I know, not, not a, um, which I hate the fact that there's not, but there's not third person, at least not right now. I don't know if they're going to add it later on, but right now there is no third person, which I hate. Not that I play third person all the time anyway in these types of games, but it would have been nice anyway. Dickhead. This is really cool. Hold up, Paul. director was supposed to greenlight his promotion when the Japanese arrived. She stabbed him in the back instead. And you, who do you work with? Abernathy. Well, oh, of She's course. Really good. Came up with the whole Cape Town ploy on her own. Abernathy. The bitch who burned my boss in the promotion to Spec Ops director. You know how it is. Things happen. Yeah. They do indeed. Tell me about the op in Cape Town. Operation Cargo. You know about it? Arming local conflicts in Africa. I didn't know that was you. It was me. We dumped crates full of rifles into the ocean. They had to be pulled out using borrowed fishing boats. Same old circus, but hey, that's how wars are won. Listen, sorry. Uh, in a bit of a rush right now. We'll talk another time, okay? Sure, sure. I figured I might as well. I like doing the optional thing sometimes. Not to mention the fact that... You bitch. I love how she's like, don't look. I stare at her. She fucking just looks right at me. Yes, sir. To handle this voting issue before we lose our bases, they're about to begin. What's the situation? I like this. This is very. Just as we thought. I I like the way the game looks already. It's very nice. Holy crap. Director Abernathy. I watched the vote. What the hell was that? A deep claim after the shit Frankfurt dumped on us. As we agreed, I got rid of the problem. I told you to resolve the problem, not massacre the European Space Council. Do you understand what the cover up will cost? We would have lost, lost the license. Now, now we gained a week. That's, That's a win. Pat, at least 
Damn it, this is tough. Uh honestly. Please. There's not much you can in. She's got the night city board on her side. If she wants you out, well. You understand. I do. Seems we see I wide about this issue. Take this. Why do I not trust him? It's what I've collected over the past Biometric, trauma team card, names of the closest associates, driver, chief of security, love up, love up, husband. Wait! <laughs> Lover! Lover's husband, everything! So he wants me to completely screw somebody else over out of their career because they're trying to screw him out of his career. I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing that somebody could do, but it's not exactly like a legal thing to do either. I was trying to open this door. Not uh I need you to stand on something. It's possible one of our assets was exposed. This is Frankfurt again. No, different issue. Local. Oh for fuck's sake. No. Quick version. Our agent and biotechnicals tracks they might be on to him. They recently granted him red security clearance. That's Tom. He's been fishing for dirt, but it's been slow. Your point. They're clean. Like we run orphanage is clean. Bleach server clean. We suspect they flagged him and are feeding him phony data. Should we green light XML or let him keep looking? Take the risks. Limited threat to life. Not biotechnical style. Blackmail's possible. Leveraged against false accusations in the media. The guy has kids. He'd crack. Pull him out, but calm. Don't raise any eyebrows. Otherwise, they'll catch on. Jenkins will be living. 
I'll handle Jenkins. Understood. Let's go check the personal, see what this file is. Report summary. Nusa and Militech. After assessing data collected from contact reports in Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and Montana, we did not confirm any active Nusa efforts against Arasaka uh, assets or operations in the federal territories. However, the same conclusion cannot be drawn regarding potential threats from Militech. Although the corporation has obviously close ties to the Nusa government, we were unable to obtain valuable intel due to much tighter control on internal procedure and information flows. We must rely on circumstantial evidence obtained by our own field agents for the time being. Conclusion, further hum human gathering required. Current data are circumstantial and do not allow for indisputable conclusions. Uh, what's in my drawer? I don't know what that did, but I wanted to use it, so. <laughs> Gave me the option. Uh, Alright, let's stand up. What's this red thing on my desk right here? Take. Alright. Read message. Drag down Netrunner Renegades, combating demons, rebuilding the American net. These are just some of the daily tasks trusted the special agents at Netwatch. If you'd rather lose your eyes than your deck, if an encounter with Mephistopheles is just another walk in the park for you, then maybe it's time you join our team. Here's what you can expect to contribute as a Netwatch agent. Patrolling all public access levels of the net, tracking and eradicating illegal Netrunner activity, hunting down dangerous rogue AI, exploring and neutralizing threats in the oldest parts of the deep net, prohibiting the movement of people and AI across the black wall, assisting in the expansion of secure net space for public use. Thanks to the NetWatch, thousands of people can freely use approved search engines and other net services without fear of falling victim to nefarious demon threats. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, we serve tirelessly to eliminate corrupted data forts, safeguard our information, and arrest dangerous cyber criminals. Do you have what it takes? Apply today. Interesting. This is fancy. Please provide your destination. Bring up district analytics. Increased NCPD presence and activity has been reported in Haywood. No official statement has been forthcoming. Intercepted radio communications suggest Max Tag has been sent to the area. A widespread power failure has been reported in Santo Domingo. Destination, Lizzie's Bar. Yeah, fuck it, I'll take a drink, why not? This is M54 News Broadcast. One sec, where is the timer? All right, we got about a minute left. Okay. Breaking story for you. A conference of the European Space Council screeched to a grisly halt following a failure in the neural stabilization system. Five European Space Council members are dead, while three remain in critical condition. Authorities are still <laughs> That's his fourth wall, I'm pretty sure. It's a beautiful looking game. Like, granted, I get a lot of people are pissed because of the, um, Hello. issues, but yes. I like it. 
We weren't scheduled to connect till the end of the week. We're gonna let this go first. I'm dealing with the temporary nuisance. Nothing you should worry about. Just think back to our last session. The neuromotor relaxation exercises three times a day, they'll soothe and lift your spirit. I know this. Sure, okay. See you later. Um... That's weird. Why is it still up there? Okay, so this is interesting looking. Messages. Map, character, journal, crafting inventory. Okay. Database, maybe? Aha! Holy fuck, this is a lot of shit. Alright. So that is going to do it for this episode, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you all in the next one. Stay golden. Peace.